Welcome back at 942 Pix 11 celebrating Pride. And in just a couple hours, it's time for the Long Island Pride Parade in Farmingdale. Yeah, the fun kicks off a little bit after noon this afternoon. So joining us now to talk about the event, David Kilnick, CEO of the LGBT Network, who's organizing the event. David, good to have you here on this Sunday morning. Oh, it's great to be with you guys, and happy Pride. Happy Long Island Pride. Happy, happy Long, Long Island, Island Pride. Pride, yeah. Looks like the rain is holding off for now where you are. So what can people expect for today's big event? People could expect an, an awesome parade with over 1,500 marchers, a four-hour concert right on Main Street, bars, restaurants, this festival, this beautiful festival and fair that's being set up behind me. And, you know, which we want to let people know, don't be scared of the rain. You need rain to make rainbows. So come on mm -hmm. out. Let's blanket Long Island with a sea of rainbows and celebrate pride. It's good to be back together in person, finally. And that is the ultimate turn of a phrase. I love that, David. And hey, you know, so many parades and so many organizations had to take a pandemic pivot, right, when you were on hold. How does it feel to be back for those in-person celebrations? What did you end up doing the last couple of years in order to continue to celebrate pride, but, you know, not with the in-person stuff? Yeah, so I mean, it feels so good to be back together yeah. again, to see everyone, to be together, to celebrate, you know, because Pride is about love, Pride is about community, Pride's about a movement, and we're going to do it together. The last two years, we had a virtual celebration and a hybrid celebration last year. We had a concert at Eisenhower Park. We were the first event, period, back on Long Island, um, but we had to follow all the COVID regulations. So, you know, today is we're all free, as we should be. I mean, and that's what, you know, uh, celebrating Pride is about, towards our freedom and towards equality and towards equity and towards love. I mean, and today's going to be all about love. All about love. And indeed. bringing the love. <laughs> and bringing the love, for sure, you know. And, and, you know, the LGBT network, David, getting ready to celebrate a big milestone next year, 30 years, uh, right. almost 30 years, right, of, of, of celebrating pride and raising awareness. You know, how are you marking this big milestone? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a huge milestone. I mean, you know, this fall we get ready to, the LGBT network gets ready to celebrate our three decades of service. You know, and we've seen so much change in 30, 30 years. Um, you know, we, we have uh, over 120 Gay Straight Alliance clubs. You know, we're doing Pride now that's bringing tens of thousands of people down. You know, we have four community centers. We're in Queens also in Astoria. And, you know, while, we've, while so much has changed, there's still so much more to do. And that's why events like Pride are so important because it brings out the LGBTQ community. It brings out our allies. And it brings us out as a stronger force to make sure that the kids who are watching Picks 11 today that feel like they cannot come out yet, mm -hmm. that this gives them hope and it lets them know that they're loved and they're not alone. Yeah, there's nothing like a big display like that and with so yeah. many people coming out. I know we, we had uh, another one in Montclair, New Jersey yesterday. Yeah. You and Vanessa Freeman were at that celebration. We have, of course, Pride here in the city. Talk about how important it is to celebrate Pride in all of these locations yeah. and what that means. Sure. You know, I think having pride all over, like the one yesterday in Montclair. I mean, I saw the coverage of it on Pix 11. It was yeah. great. Um, you know, and um, and to have it in all these different towns is so important because, you know, we need to, as a community, we as an LGBTQ community need to be able to feel safe no matter where we live, mm -hmm. learn, work, play, and pray. And that's everywhere. So we need to create these safer spaces, these beacons of pride um, in every single town. And, you know, these larger pride events really help go a long way toward that. Yeah, and I, and I got to tell you, just being there yesterday, like, like you said, alongside Vanessa, it was great to see young to old, all different walks of life, allies, uh, straight members of the LGBTQ yep. plus community, Families, everyone community, there. community, everybody coming out. Supporting. It was incredible to see. David, uh, best of luck today, right? And who cares about the rain? People are going to show up no matter what. That's right. That's right. That's right. Rain can't stop pride. And today we're going to, this is our theme. We're going to shout gay. They may say don't say gay in Florida. We're going to be shouting it so that everyone in the tri-state area could hear that. There you go. Perfect. And PIX11 is a proud sponsor of the Long Island Pride Parade. Make sure you tune in tonight at 5 for more on the celebrations and at PIX11.com slash Pride Month, where we're also going to have exclusive Pride content all month long. All right. Thank you so much, David.